Bruce, please. Okay, I'm David War. I'm the owner of Cooper's Tea and Coffee. Yes, a little international business right here in the heart of St Helena. Sure. And funny enough, there are several businesses here. I've just walked down this one street and that's exactly what they do. They mm. deal internationally. Mm. Brexit for Jersey, I'm trying to concentrate, but it's got worldwide implications. Yeah. What do you think? What's, what's the Jersey perspective on this? Well, project? I mean, from our business point of view, I think the biggest thing is is coffee. Um, coffee is traded in US dollars. And clearly, if the there's a major currency fluctuation between dollar and sterling, that has an, an impact on, our, on the world price of coffee as far as we are concerned, because we're in a sterling arena, which basically pushes the price up of coffee, the cost of coffee. However, to counter that, we've got commodity issues, and that is that the basic commodity commodity itself can go up or down. So you have this kind of d double thing going on, whether it could be currency, is it actually speculation in the market, who knows, and there's moving. Has that got anything to do with Brexit? The currency issue, I guess, possibly has because that's market uncertainty. The commodity price, no, that's lots of other issues out there. Nothing to do with Brexit at all. It's about how markets are working and all the rest of it and supply and demand. Now, we've go got the protocol three arrangement mm -hmm. with Europe. Mm -hmm. Does that mean anything to you? Does it? That doesn't mean. That, in all honesty, that doesn't mean a thing to me. Um, you know, it may well mean something to the finance industry. Does it mean anything that fewer people come into our cafes or come into our shop and buy less product? No. Um, right now, we're at the height of the tourism industry. Does it infect the visitor economy? Personally, no, it doesn't because we're in a sterling zone. Again, sterling to sterling. People are coming out of the UK into sterling. The visitors from Europe are no doubt finding Jersey significantly cheaper. Politically, we're stable. Don't forget, you've got all these issues going on in Europe. I'm sure these other things going on, the terrorist incidents and all the rest of it, I'm sure that's benefiting Jersey. There are sort of so many myriad of factors going on. Um, it's just very hard to unravel and say, well, point at one thing and say Brexit means this to anybody. If we have to renegotiate something mm -hmm. or a totally different arrangement, mm -hmm. can you imagine that that will cause problems for you? I don't know if it'll cause problems for us. We wait and see. I mean, who, who knows? You know, I think this whole European thing, we've been in Europe since the 70s. You know, we're talking about 40 years of legislation, which somebody out there is going to try and unpick and undo and all the rest of it. And, uh, and somebody somewhere is going to have to make a pragmatic decision about what those implications are. You know, we're in a global economy. People are buying online. You're buying from halfway around the world to bring stuff in, which you could never do five years ago, let alone 10 years ago. So the world has changed on. And in my humble opinion, I think the politics has fallen behind the market. I think the, the, the market is just miles out of sight. And actually, the politicians are only just about catching up. Now, this is supposed to be a political split. You know, are they going to keep up with the market? I, you can't not stop keep the trade you can't There's stop a trading huge political uncertainty now it's mm. not just jersey it's yep. the uk but it's also going to the european union mm -hmm. and beyond because mm -hmm. we're talking about deals with other countries all around the world does that uncertainty does, will that in itself cause you problems well I, I, that's a really good question i mean the uncertainty always makes markets more volatile but markets are volatile all the time anyway you know markets are up and down more than they ever used to be you know a hundred point um, movement on, a, on the FTSE market, today is commonplace. Nobody thinks about it. If you went back 20 years ago, one point move in those markets was considered, you know, talking point. So we have to accept that in today's world, we live in hugely volatile conditions and we're all interconnected. And to, to, to suggest that some tiny little issue within Europe and, and this pullout is actually going to make some massive difference. I, I just don't see it. I really, really don't see it. I just think it's just added some complexity to it. And no doubt there are an awful lot of people out there benefiting greatly from it because markets love, I mean, markets may hate volatility, but some people love volatility because that's when you make money. There's money to be made. There's one aspect out of it which does have real meaning. Mm -hmm. You're a, an employer, mm -hmm. staffing, employment, immigration, all interlinked issues. Yep. Are these an issue for you? Well, Jersey already has lots of very stringent rules in terms of the population control, you know, and how many people can come in. We all have licenses, unqualified licenses, and all those kind of things. So there's also already, Jersey is already kind of unique in that way, in its in the way it controls its labour force. I mean, there's a real, the problem in so many ways actually is in the visitor economy is actually finding people to work within the hospitality industry right now. You know, so if anything, Jersey actually wants the laws to become more lenient, which, the, is, a bit, which it, is ironic when you 
think the opposite is true in the UK? If the UK operates a more stringent immigration control, mm. that'll apply here. Yeah. How it will fact the end but of the But will it apply here? Will well, it apply here? These are the questions. You know, I, I don't see it does because at the moment we don't we're not following UK immigration rules in Jersey. We're having we're setting our own. Well, the, uh, the UK rules. immigration law as such applies here, but we've got this special arrangement because of Protocol Three. We can yeah. do in our own thing in regards to the European mm -hmm. Union. Whether that will survive, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You know, and obviously at the end of the day, we have our own government. We have our own ability to set our own rules and our own laws. Um, I, does it remove us a little bit more? I mean, the funny thing over the years is, is Jersey has survived all these rough and tumble moments. Mm -hmm. You know, they've come and gone. Tea is the classic one in our industry. Tea used to be brought in offshore, which is why we used to have the OTC, the tea factory at First Tower, because you could bring it into Jersey, you could pack it up and then send it into the UK, avoiding some tax. I mean, heck, that was 50, 60, 70 years ago. You know, what's changed is just a different format and different things happening. I'm trying to stimulate a discussion on uh, Brexit uh, mm. because I think it's a desperately important thing, yep. but nobody's expressing views on it. Do you think it would be useful to have a decent discussion? I, I think you could express a view. Yeah, absolutely have a discussion on it. You can express a view if you actually had some inkling as to what kind of impact it's going to have. I think until the political leadership, you know, you obviously have the Boris Johnsons and the, the senior politicians in the UK government who are now currently working with Brussels to try and work out um, what it all means. And until they bring some clarity to it and somebody actually sees some actuality in terms of, you know, this is what it means. I, I think there's been so much hype, you know, for in or out. You know, George Osborne's been found out, hasn't he? You know, we were going to have a, a, a completely new budget a week after Brexit would happen. Has that happened? No, it hasn't. I mean, the only concern obviously is is the Bank of England seeing something as they've just dropped interest rates by a quarter of percent, you know, and uh, having to reintroduce stimulus packages. So maybe they're seeing something that we're currently not seeing. Who knows? So we, we'll have to wait and see. I still think there's a huge amount of scaremongering going on. Okay, thanks very much indeed. No problem at all. My pleasure.